Breaking news now from Milwaukee. The biological father of a missing girl in Milwaukee now charged with beating an eight-month-old nearly to death. The father of Alexis Patterson is sitting in jail right now for the disturbing allegations. Cody Hoyoke has the criminal complaint in hand, and he joins us now from the Milwaukee County Courthouse. Cody. Charles Carroll, good afternoon. Kenya Campbell garnered a lot of attention over the last 11 years, the ongoing search for his daughter, Alexis Patterson. Now he is in jail. Jailers are keeping an eye on him after prosecutors maintain he beat a young girl within an inch of her life. Campbell lives with his mother and an eight and a half month old girl, presumably his daughter. He is legally responsible for her care, according to the complaint. Campbell's mom, the girl's grandmother, told police Kenya ran in one morning and said the baby fell and split her lip. According to doctors, the injuries were much more severe. The girl had a broken jaw and rib, a broken neck, lacerated liver, even bruises throughout her body. Doctors were amazed the girl survived and believe the injuries are from what they believe is a violent, massive assault. Now, no word today on the baby's condition. It should be noted that Kenya Campbell, according to prosecutors, went to work after telling his mother that the baby had fallen. Now he's behind bars where he could spend the rest of his life if he's convicted. The man faces a bevy of child abuse charges. Live in downtown Milwaukee, Cody Holyoak, today's TMJ4. Well, certainly a horrendous situation. Now, let me ask you, though, Cody, a question that maybe a lot of viewers are thinking right now. Given the allegations against Campbell, what do we know about the case with Alexis and where he was? I'm told at that point when she disappeared, he was not a suspect. And from what we can tell from Milwaukee police, that, that still remains true, Charles. There's no indication that Mr. Campbell had anything to do with Alexis's disappearance. Such a horrific, horrific uh, discovery today. Thank you very much, Cody. More breaking news now. And seven-year-old Alexis Patterson, we might mention, went missing back in 2002. Her stepdad walked her to school at Highmount Elementary. That is the last time anyone saw her and again no one has ever been arrested or charged with her disappearance